Hi guys, welcome to a video about the Beretta 680 series ejector system. Uh, we have in front of us a 682 action barrels and a four in that I've stripped the wood off of. Uh, hopefully in this video we're going to cover ejector timing, how the ejectors work and most importantly replacing the ejectors, removing the ejectors, changing the ejectors, cleaning the ejectors, ejectors. So uh, let's start with how they work. So we have the ejectors here, you have a guide rod, you have the head, it's, they're fairly unexciting, you can see them from the outside. You have the forend, which removed, you can see the ejector kickers, and the action. So, how they work. When fired, these silver rods here move forward, they engage with these, these push upwards, and these sit underneath there. As you open the gun, they move down, and the ejectors come out. Let me show you. Right, so let's fire her off. All right, so as we open her, the ejectors come out as normal. And you can see, we get engagement at the back here that stops them from coming out. So you open a certain way, and they move very, very slowly. Hopefully until both tubes are clear. That click was it cocking the gun. And on the final movement, there's the other hammer cocked. Bang. Very, very simple, very, very easy to work with. Uh, so as you can imagine, the engagement between this here and this here can regulate how early or how late, or how smoothly even, the ejectors come out. So actually working on this flat surface here, can make all the difference to your gun. However, we're not going to talk too much about the refineness of that, just so that you know that that's the case. If this is burred or damaged, your gun will not eject properly. Now, onto the important part. How to remove the ejectors. Uh, there's only one way to take them out and one way to put them in on a Beretta, and there's a few guns that are slightly similar, but really this is about as Beretta as they come. Okay, so very simple. Grasp the barrels with your left hand and put a bit of weight on them because you don't want to push them away. Grab the ejector with your thumb and forefinger like that. And you can also grab the other end with your thumb and forefinger if you need, but you probably won't. Push the extractor in until it's about before the actual head fits into the slot. Like that. Twist the extractor outwardly and up like that. And out she'll come. Simple as that. Uh, you can see there's a little spring and guide rod behind that that keep it sprung. And apart from that, it's fairly unexciting. So, grab a cloth of some sort and clean out your headwork. Make sure the hole that it goes into is very, very clean as well. Let me remove it, replace it quickly. And we'll look again how to remove it without a spring. The spring can be quite stiff. This one's a little older, so it can be a little bit of a pain. You can find that you can loosen it up by actually just holding the barrel on a hard surface and just moving them a little bit back and forth, uh, just to sort of wear them in a little bit before you do it. So, without a spring, push the extractor in, twist the extractor out, and pull the extractor away like that. You can lift it up, but this little spring can then spring out. So you almost want to release the tension off the spring first. So in, twist, out. As simple as that. As you can see, the other it goes in very easily. We'll cover that in just a second. Let me show you the other side. And I always manage to do these the right way, the same way around. So left hand on, push it in, twist it up, and out she comes. Simple as that. So, now, putting them back in. First, let's start on the other side, actually. Replacing the ejector spring guide rod, clean them, lube them, and pop them back in together. So you can replace the spring at this point. They're a very cheap component part, if you really want. Starts by placing this angled side here into the angled slot at the top, like that. Push it up until it touches the spring, with your thumb on the top of the ejector there and your thumb and forefinger again on the back, push in, rotate down, drop thumb. Watch that again. So, into the slot, push in, 
against the spring, push in and down and in. As simple as that, doesn't get any easier. Uh, my suggestion may be, put, if you're unconfident with this, get a big towel, bigger than this, and put it at the end, and then if the spring will hit it, it's not gonna go too far. Towels generally stop stuff a lot better than hard stuff, because they have so much give. Very good. All right, the other side, so you get your spring and your guide rod, you put it back into the hole there. And you get extractor, place it into the angle, push it in, and down we go. And the reverse, and again. And that is as simple as that. Uh, always, once they're in, just make sure both still move. That's all you need to do to get your gun working again. Clean them out, a slight bit of grease on the inside. Don't over grease them, don't over lube them. Run them semi dry. Job done. Take care. If you ever have any questions or any issues, we're always here to help. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.